Hey folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Darkness and Dragons. We're an actual play podcast for mature audiences with an emotionally deep and narrative and character-driven plot. I'm your dungeon master for today, Melissa, and with me, as always... I am Laura, and I am playing Ryan, the Asthma Rogue. Yep. And I am Sarah, and I'm playing Eliwick. Uh, the Sylphie Barbarian. I love that you forgot your oh, own name and not your character's name. Like, that's just... Mwah. Mwah. That's it. Uh, Classic. And Michael, who is usually with us and plays Penny, our lovely necromancer, is at a job interview right now. So that's exciting. Um, so it's just going to be the three of us today. So, Laura, mm-hmm. do you want to read our last time on... Sure. So this is just a little quick catch up if you want to get all the details um, or if you're not into spoilers, you can always say if you need more details in the chat and Sarah will update you. Um, But broadly speaking, um, I'm assuming that if you're here, you're okay with spoilers. (laughs) Um, So last time, um, our little blurb was that Ryan stumbles upon a private moment that puts her in grave danger. If you were here last week, that was quite dramatic. Uh, Penny receives a dark spell book from Emperor Cade, who seems far too interested in her past. And Ellie, well, maybe we can say that she picks a fight with Prince Arson, but you did try and choke him out with your axe. So it was purely out of protection and love for you. you. (laughs) Like when we say pick, pick a fight, it's barbarian it's love. Yeah. 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 It's mainly straight up. Yeah. Hardcore barbarian love. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> it is. But but like when so satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> you could do it dumb. You know what? Go for it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> let's start off from where we ended last time. So Ryan was in our son's room for the night. And trying to not die of wounds? Yeah. Good uh, job. You didn't die of your wounds. To death. Yeah. Only because he rolled a pretty decent medical check, didn't he? He's pretty good for a prince, eh? (laughs) It turns out he's he's not completely crap at this. Yeah. It's moderately crap. So, yay. So. I lived, bitches. You lived. lived. So, you leave the room, and outside is Ellie. Ellie, how are you, uh, how have you been waiting? Oh, I'm for sure, like, I probably came in early in the morning, realized no one was up, and I just, like, curled up in front of the door with my axe and, like, some toast in my hands that's definitely, like, all squished and jammy and gross. (laughs) And I'll just be like... (laughs) Oh my goodness, you're alive. I'm so happy. Look, I wasn't going to die. You did not have to sleep on the floor. No, I, but you were totally going to die. You were like this close to death. I didn't I didn't feel that. I'm not quite that close to death. Well, you, you, eat, not... you eat this toast and you'll feel better. Oh, did you, is that, did you, did you sleep with bread in your hands all night? <laughs> Yes, as I slept with the toast. Uh, I might have dropped it at one point, but, you know, I d- dusted it off. And... Oh, no. Yeah, th- that, um, perhaps we should, I, we could leave that for our son, right? That, like a thank you. Yes, as a thank you, because he, he, he did really good. And, and an apology? Yes. Yes, an apology. Um, yeah, you put you put your axe around his neck, didn't you? Maybe. I like a little. It was like it was like a lot of adrenaline. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I know. I'm. Oh, with her jammy hands. Shit. I don't. I'm. I'm okay. I'm gonna give Ellie a hug. I'll give like a proper like a proper hug. Aww. I'm gonna give her a kiss on the cheek and hug. I go to wrap my jammy hands around you. <laughs> I just stroke your back with my jammy Ooh. hands. Ooh, that, okay, all right. Oh, I mean, I don't stroke your back. No. I don't do that. Don't do that. I pat your butt. 
I pat your okay, butt. You. You go. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good old butt, butt pat. Good. Yeah, should we? We just throw, just throw it inside the room. We don't even have to get him. We just. He's asleep. We can just we can just literally chuck the bread into the room. And if you just put the jam on the bread, we'll just throw it in, right? I could just I could just shove it under the door, and I'll just I'm just gonna like I want to do some kind of check to capture how badly this goes. <laughs> like, what does our son wake up to? Oh. <laughs> sleight of hand? Like, is jamming okay. bread under a door a sleight of hand check? I think it is. <laughs> He's just standing on the other side of the door. We should give you, like, 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 like there's animal handling. We should give you, like, jam handling. Jam handling? Yeah, but that's a wisdom like a check, so, three. yeah, that wouldn't really make sense. This is not wise. What is this? Insight? <laughs> Sleight of hand. Jam handling. Sleight of hand. Six. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> you're like you're like pushing it with your fingertips and it's like all torn apart. <laughs> it's like just a pile of jam on one side. It's like pushed up against the side of the door frame. Like it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I, I think he'll I think he'll really enjoy that. I was trying to I was trying to sneak out while he was asleep. <laughs> and instead <laughs> We're cramming bread and jam under his door. Okay. Yeah. Normal yeah. things. Normal things. Totally normal things. Of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Yeah. Normal thing. Right. But we don't get caught. <laughs> yep. Like, he doesn't open the door and say, like, oh, you quit jamming bread under my door. Like, no, thankfully, he does not catch you yet. You should probably leave before he does. I agree. Okay. Yep, let's go. Yep. Okay. Yep. We're gonna walk gingerly and away. We're off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to the we're going to the medical wing. To the Yeah. Are you yeah. sure you want to go to him? Because I know last night you were kind of you said you didn't want to go to him for some reason. Yeah, I don't want to, but I don't have a lot of options. Who else is supposed to fix this? Well, I mean, I told you I could no, do it. No, no, Ellie, Ellie, no. No, okay. no, you, I appreciate that. I appreciate it so much, your sweetheart. I love you. But, it's, I mean, he's a professional. This is his job, and he gets paid to do it. And I, and, I mean, we might as well use the facilities while we're here, right? That is very true, I believe. There you go. There you go. See? Very, very clever. Let's do that. Beautiful. Um, it's hard to get down the stairs because you're in a lot of pain. Um, Ellie, um, Ryan's wearing like a very nice red shirt, so you can't tell quite how much she's been bleeding. Um, so maybe she's not terribly off, but who knows? Oh, I, I hear faster than most. <laughs> or maybe the shirt's all blood. <laughs> One or the I think other. That's the other option. Which would I think more? <laughs> Ooh, good question. I feel like... Insight. Yeah. <laughs> Perception. <laughs> Perceive whether the redness is blood or die. <laughs> Did you roll a one? <laughs> Did you roll a one on knowing whether or not it's dye or blood? <laughs> so... That's gonna go on our dice wall of shame. Like, <laughs> I forget who I am. <laughs> yeah, I so... stroke out. I start bleeding from one ear. <laughs> yeah. So take a, take, picture. Take a picture. Take a picture of that dice so you can shame it later. Um. Yeah. Cool. Um. So, wow. hmm, what's the logic here? Is it that the shirt is covered in blood and Ryan's a badass, or is it that she's covered in jelly? I don't know. I don't even know what it is. What does Ellie think? I mean, she's like, do do I lick it? Should I just leave it? Maybe, Yo, yes, maybe definitely. We'll leave it today. No, come on, lick her arm. Lick her arm a little bit. Just give it a little taste. Please don't lick me. We're going downstairs, and I'm just like, <laughs> did you did you just lick me? What? I don't know. I'm. In <laughs> Sorry, I. No, I, why would I lick you? Hey, 
yeah. I just thought, no, you're right. It's weird. It's weird. I wouldn't. Super weird. Sorry. Lost. I lost a lot of a little bit of blood. And just didn't sleep well. And sorry. Right. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. It, 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 sorry. I didn't. Yep. Need a nap. Just need a nap. Right. Good. Good sleep. Good sleep. Little heel. Good sleep. Some, some toast. Yep. Maybe something else. We'll go eat after. You yeah, make Ellie's your. just like so hungry, but she's just like not saying anything. You make your way towards the clinic. Uh, you push open the doors. I assume Ellie does with uh, you know her badass energy. Uh, and you see Raf sitting in a chair by the fire. And as soon as you guys show up, he jumps up from his chair and he looks like he has not slept. Oh. Sorry, sorry. We're it's back. fine. <laughs> please, please come in. Um, Hello. Sit down. Um, I have some wounds that need tending to, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, oh, of course, of course, of course. Um. Um. You just lie back on your stomach, and, and you'll have to take off your um your shirt. I'll give it to. I'm not laying. Like I'm gonna give it to Ellie. Like you hold this. It's important. Don't lose it. Don't lick it. Just. <laughs> 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 Mm, but it's red. <laughs> That's the best color to lick. Maybe she was in the jam. Maybe I brought her jam without even realizing it. It was just... Yep. But I will hold it. I'm gonna fold it, but like an Ellie fold. So it's like, crunkle, crinkle, crinkle, shove, shove, twist, twist. twist knot. Twist. Yeah. Twist. yeah. Tie the knot. That's, good. Good. That's, that's good. a fold. That's a standard fold. On. You mean you can't put this back on and it's just like the the Spongebob horror scream when they see something ugly? <laughs> That's it. Doesn't matter. It'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Of course it will be. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Totally Everything's fine. fine. It's totally All fine. of this is fine. Nothing, nothing is, nothing is weird. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, speaking of things that aren't weird, um, like... Raph is definitely being totally normal and not weird at all, right? Ellie, do you want to do you want to try to pick up on why Raph's so uncomfortable? I would love to. Is this an insight? Yes. Seven. <laughs> oh, Ellie. Um, oh, Ellie. <laughs> He has jam on his shirt as well. <laughs> That's um, Did I miss the food fight? Where was the fight? Why wasn't I invited? What? So rude. Why is everyone the worst to Ellie? So rude. Um, he is really, really trying to hold eye contact with Ryan, and Ryan is like not like completely the opposite. Weird. I'm gonna look around the room while well, while he's tending to her. Okay. What are you looking for? Secrets. Secrets. Damn. Yep. Secrets. Food. Just just Secrets. anything weird. Anything weird in the room. Anything weird in the room. My weird senses out. Just All right. Boop. All right. Boop. Perception. We'll keep we'll keep the rolling train. I like it. That was a good clicky clack sound. Perception. Oh, thanks. Synthetic 20. Synthetic. I like that. Good. Uh, you notice the book that Raph has been reading. 
Um, and it's like a guide to like, guides may be a strong word, but like information about neighboring cities that are nearby the capital. Ooh. Yeah, it's like, it's like, look at all these places we conquered that are now part of our home. And he's got these little like bookmarks in various places. Snoop, Ellie, Snoop. Can I just like? Oh no, dropped it. Oh, so sorry. Let me pick it up, and then I'm gonna <laughs> pick it up and like look at the bookmarked pages. Okay. You're probably not paying attention. You probably just kind of started flipping through. <laughs> <laughs> you no. drew way more attention to yourself by dropping a book. <laughs> You're like that kid in the class who like tries to cover up a fart by dropping a stack of books, but then they fall and then you do it. <laughs> like it's just complete mess. Complete mess. That's it. That's it. That's just how it goes though. That's just how okay, life goes. <laughs> <laughs> um you uh the page that you owe that you open to before, you know, he looks at you and is like, What are you doing? Um, talks about a town called Duran. Uh, and it talks about how there is a, um, it's like a small town that was captured. It's near to the border and, uh, it doesn't really have any strategic value. It's just kind of like a place that they captured. It's kind of inland now and it doesn't seem to have anything interesting about it. It seems like the most boring place you have ever heard of. It's a weird thing to be reading. I just pick up the book. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I'll just set the book back down. But I remember how boring that town was. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why? You, you could ask him about it. No, I'll, say, I'll save that for later. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Ask someone else. Um... Ryan, you are on your stomach, and uh, uh, Raph is pulling off the bandages that are then put on top of you and checking your wounds. Um, and he speaks to you in a, a low voice. He says, Ab about the other day, um, I feel like I should um, apologize. Don't. Just don't have to. We don't have to have this conversation. We don't have to do this. If you could just. Did you tell her? Do you think if I gave her the information she wanted that I would have ended up like this? I don't know. Um. Thank you. No. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry for putting you in that situation. I, um... <clears throat> that is a bit unfair. It's not... I don't... I don't blame you. It's not your fault. I'm not angry about it, except in the fact that it does affect my life and yours for that matter. I haven't spoken to Atlas yet, but he um, didn't know where you went last night. He's been looking for you. didn't really want to see him. Oh, well, I'm glad you decided to see me and um, get this treated. Didn't have much of a choice. Uh, Ellie, you come back over and uh, Raph is working away. He is red in the face, and it is super duper awkward as he helps tend Ryan's wounds. So 
So, quite a quite a dry spell we're having. Mm -hmm. Do you mean rain? Did it There's rain? Lots today? of other things that aren't dry. Well, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, Raph looks like he's gonna like. <laughs> cry or faint or something <laughs> uh and he turns away to go gather some more resources like what did you say to him he looks like he's gonna faint i didn't say anything what do i say maybe he's a bit squeamish at the sight of blood i don't know I... well it's weird, a right? god awful career for that then i agree i agree it's weird i don't know yeah. Sorry. But she's still a little angry. <laughs> just a bit. Just a bit. Um, you're pretty lucky. He he works away at you, and only one of your wounds actually needs stitches, which is pretty good. Um, he finishes sealing you up. He gives you some more medicine and uh, basically tells you to take the next week or so at least. Um without doing too much heavy activity. Um, he blushes when he says that you should try not to lie on your back when you sleep. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna tell him like in a, oh shit, okay. I want, okay, I would just say it, but except I probably won't say it right. I want it to be kind of a, not mean, but like a, like a, I'm watching you. And I wanna say like, you should probably pass that information on to the queen. Empress. Sorry. Watch your back, bitch. <laughs> of course. I'll, no, um, about I'll send... that, because we'll get the... Yes, I'll, I'll send a report to her letting her know of the situation. Um, you can come back uh, later tonight, and I'll um, check the wounds and give you some more medicine. I'm sure I won't be busy. He's such a sweetheart, and I'm being so mean to him. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad saying these things. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, before you leave, he gives, like, one of your hands a quick squeeze. Like, very, like, trying to be stealthy. He's not very stealthy. Ellie, you definitely see him, like, give, like, a... Like, like a politician shaking a baby, like a, like a, you know, hand over hand kind of handshake kind of thing with a little squeeze. And then he, you know, sneaks back away into his room. Okay. So the scale of one to ten, how am I feeling now? That's a great question. Six, seven? Oh, let's see. So your wounds are about... Oh, crap. I rolled a 20 on how bad your wounds are. Um, okay, that's your medicine. That's your medical care. Uh, you are feeling very bad physically, but you are feeling okay emotionally. Okay, right. Time to go sit somewhere and not do much of anything all right okay all right good that's fine that's fine normal things yeah yeah i well, mean we should get some food into you mm. um breakfast perhaps um outside mm. today breakfast outside you can come to john we can go to the room we could have breakfast on the balcony <gasps> in atlas's room he won't mind. If he's out looking for you, he's probably okay. not in his room. He's probably not in there. Okay. Exactly. Mm. And then can bring us tea. We don't even we don't need to bring anything. Come on, we'll have fun. You like the bath? You like the bath? You'll like you'll like the balcony even better. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> come on, we'll be fancy. Let's go. I have to get changed anyway. I have to go to the room and I have to get changed anyway. So come on. So I'll, I'll grab the the jam and the toast. No, 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 no. We're gonna have a nice, a nice girly breakfast tea. Come on. Girly. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna like brush Ellie's hair. Like, I go. Good luck. 
It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. Uh, I trust you. It's a breakfast, Ellie. It's it's not a war. It's okay. breakfast. Well, it's, I mean, it's if... food okay. and beverages while we sit and we drink together. How bad could it possibly be? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> She's got a point. <laughs> Don't say that with the GM around. And the... <laughs> it's the good food, not the crappy food that they bring for the others. But this is the good food. You can order anything you want. Anything you want. <gasps> anything? Anything you want, and they bring it to you, and they push it on your little plate for you. What? Anything you want. The, the, the wizards? Well, I mean, they're the, the cooks. I mean, they could be cooking wizards. They could be wizardy <laughs> cooks. I mean, I don't know, but they... The food's very good. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Do we're, we? We're walking and talking. Do you guys? Do you guys want to do the um, like a montage of that, or do you want to actually kind of sit down and and gal pal? You sit down and gal pal. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool. You're going out to the balcony. Yeah, will Ellie will Ellie let me put makeup on her? I mean, I don't think she's ever worn makeup, so you could yeah. She doesn't know what it is. I'm um, assuming that this is basically like Ellie is like shoveling food into her mouth and Ryan is just trying to like paint around Ellie's hands. Yep. Swipe, 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 and Ellie's like Sounds right. I got this. I got this shit. Um, oh. hmm, what would be a good role for trying to brush Ellie's hair? Oh. I want to call it <laughs> oh, a no, strength. No, I want to call it athletics because of how naughty it is. But Ellie last showered three days ago, so we're relatively rel in I guess relatively clean hair. That's Come fair. On. That's fair. Whether she, yeah. yeah. On the scale of the weekly bath, we are closer to the beginning than we are to the end. So I feel like I should get a bonus. <laughs> oh, that's your argument. All right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I have nice brushes. And I have, like, really nice brushes. Like, we're not talking about, like, tree bark combs. We're talking about, like, nice, like, boar bristle brushes. Like, yeah. Her hair brushes. You probably won't yeah. break the brushes yeah. on her head. Well... That's probably why Ellie doesn't brush her hair anymore because she just breaks every brush. <laughs> Gave up as a child. She was like, nope. Not this me. There's just like chunks of twig in her hair. <laughs> no, that's where they live now. <laughs> nope, the brush holds out. It belonged to me. The brush is good enough. The brush rolled a 17 against Ellie's hair. <laughs> but while she's like stuffing her face, like I want to braid her hair. Like I want to do like like rows, like rows that come back, right? So like this, right? Like this. So like braided rows that come back. Well, if Ellie's eating, does Ellie notice? Does Ellie oh, notice the- no. no way. No, of course not. No. Not while she's eating and drinking and there's like, there's food. I'm like, oh, good, no, bring more, more, bring more, bring more. And then I'm gonna like braid it all into one and then like wrap it into like- Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> All right, do it. Do it. Do a do a sleight of hand to see how well of a job you braid. <sighs> this is my shit. I'm a fucking <laughs> rogue. I'm a braiding rogue. I am a plaiting rogue. Seventeen. <laughs> that is a damn nice braid. <laughs> And Ellie, like, she does it quickly. It's not too tight in any places. Like, it's pretty comfy, actually. You're like, I get it. I get why people do this. It's all out of your face. Yeah. Uh, oh. Right? There's nothing, there's nothing on me. And it's also a good fighting style. That's why they do, like, boxer braids, right? It looks cute, but it also keeps everything back. So I braided, like, everything back, but, like, in, like, little rows. Like, back, back, back back and then braided the rest of your hair and then like wrapped it into like a bun. 
Oh, that's that's amazing. <laughs> How many times has Ellie wow. seen her own face? Like, is are mirrors a big thing where you come from? <laughs> or are you like a cat being like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> who's that? <laughs> who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's part of like, like yeah, like reflections. Like, if she ever went swimming or ice. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah no no mirrors really no one really right. cared about stuff like that there you go yeah. she's like Whoa. but you have like makeup and you have hair like we're getting ready for battle or something no it's it's what you'd wear if you were going to a, like a party or a ball you look beautiful Right, that's where they, they, like, roast the pig and everything, and everyone dances around a fire. Um, Ellie, I rolled a d20 mm -hmm. to see how attractive you are right now, and you rolled a natural 20. So you look good. You are fucking hot. You look real you good. Hot. <laughs> she doesn't know, but she, it's, what, what good is that when she doesn't know? You're gonna have to go out and see that. Like, that... hot to her is, like, more. Well, but everyone around her. <laughs> everyone around her is gonna know. know. You need to go Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go talk to that uh, that guard you like. Oh, Ben. <laughs> I've never seen myself look like this. I feel like you can see my face. <laughs> I think it'd be good for stabbing people. Yeah. Don't... I'm not going to get their blood and shit in my hair when I stab them in the face, right? <laughs> I won't. <laughs> no, because your well, because your hair's back, so it's not going to impede your vision when you're. If you are, if by chance you happen to be stabbing people and their blood and things start splashing your face, it's not going to get stuck in your hair. Your hair's not going to get into your face. So when you are swinging your axe, you'll have clear vision because your hair is is. I, 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 and you also just look pretty. Is that not an, it's not enough of a reason? It's not, is it? It doesn't. But, but it's multi, multifunctional. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, 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 I like, I like it. Ooh. Do you? Are you just saying that? No. It's, it's like a different person in there. It's like, what do you mean? What about what about a dress? What if I just put you in something that I have? Which I, but like just for fun, just for fun, just for fun. Yeah, I was but how you move in them? They're so tight. The ones you wear. Well, yes, but it also for a purpose. But but no, I mean like while we're sitting and drinking and eating, we're not. And then and then once we leave this room, then you can put your armor back on. But we just we can just sit. And be pretty ladies. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Ryan's never had a sister. She doesn't know. She's so excited. Beautiful. She's so excited. Um, in honor, in honor of this beautiful moment, I'm gonna give you guys both a skill bonus to represent your incredible friendship. <gasps> I know. I know. It's beautiful. Ryan, I'm going to give you a plus one to sleight of hand because you're so good at braids that it makes people's hearts full. And I'm going to bring, like, I'm going to just carry out, like, every single dress I own. Every single one. Every single one. Every single one. Like, all the hooks. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to grab them all. I'm going to throw them all down onto the veranda. <laughs> like, this one. No. This one. No. Oh, green. This will go so nice with your eyes. No, not this one. Okay. What about this one? <gasps> Sapphire can go very well with your brown hair. No, no. Oh, not this one. This one. It's got a crisscross bodice. It slims the waist. No? Yes. A crisscross is like a braid. This one. I mean, it'll, it'll work with my wings. Pink. Oh. We can catch it if it does. It's fine. Right. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Ellie, through this, um, this experience, you have now learned more about what it is to be uh, a woman in Karakat society. You will now have a plus one to your performance checks when you're trying to be a normie. Ooh. Trying to be 
Damn. Okay, okay, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh Ryan, it's such a rough day. She's so emotional oh, now. <laughs> like, I got tortured and everything's so yeah, beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> My friends are really good to me and they love me and I just I just want them to be as happy as they make me and I just love them. Aww. We, yeah. we love you. <laughs> well I know, which is which is I mean I don't have any money, so I can't buy you anything. But like But I can do your hair and I can do your makeup and I can get you a nice breakfast and I can force my clothes upon you. That's love. That's love. That's, That's love. That's love. love. Uh, Ellie's definitely just like, put me in like one of them dresses like Pennywares. She's like, the poop room looks fun. So they probably do have maybe one, some. Oh, one. yeah. I don't really, it's not really the, uh, it's not really the caricat style. <laughs> well, certainly not for their whores. Um, <laughs> right, okay, back to the closet. Right, I'll dig something out. And I, I, I totally plan to come back with this, like, giant blue monstrosity of a dress. Like, it is, like, lace and pearls and <laughs> ruffles and bodice and, like, and, like, arm, like, like, laces over the arm and, like, the thing that comes down and then it hooks around your middle finger. Like, it is... <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm so excited. Just I want a death by ruffles. That's it. <laughs> it is. It is. It is beautiful. It's going to be beautiful on you. <laughs> I'm going to go for a walk in the gardens. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. we're, we're going to show show off the show off the merchandise. But no, no. It's a bit more subtle. A bit more subtle. <laughs> No, just if you just like suck put your chest back in a little bit more <clears throat> yep no no flatten your shoulders straighten your back no boobs boobs in a bit more boobs okay yeah no that's good that's good that's good right so i'm gonna put her in that dress i'm gonna put her in that dress before she changes her mind because i am i am panicking this entire time <laughs> like she's, she's gonna change her mind gonna change her mind and i'm like i am tearing her clothes off <laughs> Like, right, no, we're gonna get this on, we're gonna get this one on. We're gonna get it on. <laughs> suck it in, suck it in, Ellie. <laughs> suck it in, suck it in. Harder, harder. <clears throat> I lace, I lace that <laughs> shit up. Um, I, supposed to be able to breathe. I wish I could give, like, you like, skill. Beautiful. Like, I wish I could give skill ups to people in the chat. Um, because I'm in Texas, just said slash A. Um, step step slash a um and that's my new favorite thing so congratulations you would get a you would get a plus one to a skill um so for your personal life you now have a plus one to persuasion against us as players <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> oh, i can't believe i'm not in the chat and i'm missing all this good shit if there's good shit in the chat i'm sorry my phone is dying so i can't i can't um Do you want to read it out to you when it does <laughs> well, yeah if there's good things in the chat please let me know because i feel yeah. like i'm missing yeah. out on something we had some good ones we had dusk doggo with catwalks and dragons <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh what's the what's the tnt version of cosmo 52 ways to seduce a dragon <laughs> that's me that's me you know what? <laughs> How to seduce your dragon this week? <laughs> your dragon. That's it. Well, every dragon is different. First of all, how to seduce a red you dragon? Respect your dragon. <laughs> Do they know that they're loved? Do they feel appreciated? <laughs> they will do. <soon. laughs> Um, so as you guys are, are Sorry, goof lost Michael. There's a lot of Yeah, that's as you guys are goofing off and having fun on the balcony doing your little dances and giggling and laughing, um, Ryan, you become aware of someone watching you. From where? From the balcony next door. Where our son's room is. That's not good. 
Um, he is leaning on the balcony with his hand, like his face in his hand, and he's just watching you guys with like this goofy, dumb smile on his face. Like you guys are so stupid, but so cute. <laughs> when you see him, he gives like a little wave. Blow him a kiss. Ask him if he got the old toast. <laughs> Did you get my toast? <laughs> is, is, is it apology? <laughs> <laughs> he just like watches the two of you just kind of shaking his head like, oh my gosh, these two. As you skip out for your journey around the castle. <laughs> We'll wave at him like fancy ladies. Yeah. Good day, sir. <laughs> look like, look like you don't care. Like pretend like you don't care. Like, no, oh, yes, no. If I never see you again, it should not bother me at all. That's the <laughs> kind of wave you're. No, not 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 swatting a fly wave. No, a little more like I don't. Mm, it's a bit of a wave. It's a bit of a dismissal. Is what you're going for. No, not. Okay, well, if you, if you, I mean, that's very. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. No. No. All right. Okay. Let's get to that. Come on. <laughs> Should we get a picnic? <laughs> we can get a picnic in the garden. We're doing what? A, a picnic where we have somebody bring us a basket what? full of food. Little, little kind of pastries and champagne and. And we sit in the gardens, and then we eat and we drink. Yeah, okay. That sounds great. Let's do that. Ryan, you will go off to gather some delicious foods to bring. You skip off towards the kitchens as much as you can, you know, with a severely damaged back. Um, but I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great mood. Like, my mood makes up for how much in pain i am i'm having a great day yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> um ellie as you uh watch ryan leave uh you feel someone come up behind you it is carmen and carmen looks takes one look at you like from head to toe and you can see like the like the judgment like all the way down all the way back up You want, what, would you like, like a painting or something? <laughs> like your hair's tied back, so like it does like this flip where it like goes around your neck for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she says, how do you carry your axe in that thing? Well... You know what? Maybe I, I'm not right now, so it's fine. You really no, think you're I'm safe not here? On kidding him. I never think I'm safe here, but Ryan feels better with this, so. I have a letter for you. She hands it to you. Is this from... She rolls her eyes. Yes. For the love of God, just read it so I can destroy it. I'd have you do it, but there's a good chance you just eat it. I mean, um, I think I'll destroy it after that. <laughs> but sure. I, I open it. Okay. Uh, it's pretty short. Um, it says, Miss Me. And it's signed uh, LF. Oh. Yeah. Does Ellie know what's going on, or does Ellie need to roll a check to see if she can figure this out? <laughs> 
there's probably like a 10 second period where Ellie's like, who? Oh, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> yep. For those of you who missed, who missed that like, session, what? we met uh, Leanne Farwin, who is the leader of a rebel group called uh, The Unseen, who wants Ellie as a member. Well, I mean, am I supposed to write back? Are we supposed to communicate like this the entire time? I assume they're trying to be subtle, make it seem like a love letter from anyone. If you want to join, oh. you should let me know. I'm interested in knowing more before I sign up for anything. Your friends are invited as well, if you'd like. She takes the letter back. Well, I don't know how they'll feel about that. Apparently they've got a bad reputation around here. Uh, Carmen looks around for a second like, We're slaves in a castle. Do you really judge anyone's reputation? of what they say about others, given that fact. No, but when the word terrorist is thrown around, it makes me think they don't care about the people or the people who get caught in the crosshairs. There's a cost to freedom. Are you not willing to pay it? To an extent. I don't think innocent should die for it. What about you? Would you die for freedom? Of course I would. But I'm not innocent. I haven't noticed the things I've done. <laughs> um, Ryan is uh, making her way back and Carmen stuffs the letter back into her pocket um, and says... If you're interested, you should let them know. This kind of offer doesn't stay open forever. And she How do I let them know? Shit, fuck. <laughs> you can chase her if you want. Like, you guys can go together and ask more questions if you want. You can go have your brunch. You can no, find no, her at a brunch. I haven't, I haven't. Nope, I don't. Nope. Nope, nope, we're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie just keeps like is like talking to herself <laughs> when you get back. We're not there. We're not there yet. We're... Who is that? Who? Oh, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, that was Carmen. She came up and she was saying rude things to me. I don't know if we were friends with her. I mean, I don't think we've ever really been, well, we were once friends, but I mean, we're not friends anymore. Well, you delivered the glass key for her. Yeah, but it was more out of like a sheer kind of silfy respect and coming from the same village. So where does that end? Sorry, what? Where does that end? Are you against everything here? Everybody here? Not against everybody. I mean, Ryan, I don't think this place is good for anyone. No, no, I, I, I agree. I agree. I believe that, and I, I'll look around to make sure no one's eavesdropping. Uh, roll a perception um, but... check. Okay. 14. Yeah, no one's watching. <laughs> the Empire has done terrible things. Clearly, I mean, look at what happened to you last night. I mean... But... I'm not I'm not saying that I want everyone here to die or anything. I never want that. I mean there's good people here. 
I think so too. Like if there's something that could be salvaged from the wreck. And from what Penny said, Emperor Cade is, he sounds good. And not everyone, it's not that black and white, but the, the people that you gave the glass key to, that seems very, very much so black and white. Maybe, I mean, but well, we're just going off of tales from Penny and people in here and... You know Atlas. Like him? Sure, I, I like the prince and he seems like a good guy, but I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people around here who wear masks. That's all I'm saying. That is probably very accurate. Let's let's go eat. Let's go find a, a tree. We can go sit under a tree or buy some flowers. Do you have a favourite flower? Yeah, I like the lily of the valley. I'm sure they have them here somewhere. Large garden. Yeah, maybe. But you know what? Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to eat. We're supposed to be enjoying ourselves. It's a nice day. It's a good day. We're going to have fun, right? And all of the rest of this can can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, I'm I'm having a wonderful time in this. You look beautiful. Well, thank you. Okay, we'll eat and then we'll go for we'll go for a walk and watch everyone stare at you. Let's do that. Yeah. Are you trying I'm to be starving? Are you trying to be seen or not be seen by anyone in particular? It has been like forty minutes since Ellie last ate. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> starving. Um, definitely, definitely. Um, doing like a Ryan walk. Like Ryan walks very like proud and like kind of like model esque, right? Yeah, I'm trying that. <laughs> Use your brand new bonus to right. performance. Okay. You got this. This you is why you this. got that plus one. This is what it was all for. Perfect. Thirteen. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at it's all. Like straight leg. That's it's it's um there's definitely a sense of like Ryan walks somewhere and then like Ellie like mimics and then like wa then watches again and then so you've got this like weird like staggered walk but Ellie does look is picking it up slow and steady I'm so proud I'm so proud <laughs> doing great yeah you are yeah we're going to go we're going to go wander around until we find some lily of the valley and then we're going to go sit and we're going to go have our picnic but no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I'm trying to not. No, I would say I'm trying to avoid anybody or Ellie. Anyone you're avoiding or not avoiding? To be honest, I don't think I'm really oh, too aware of anything right now. Besides she, trying she to focus on the walk. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Hundred percent of my focus. Um, you can have one of those, like, cool struts, like, in movies, where you, like, we slow down, and you're, like, being badasses, and, like, you know, you lay out the blank, nice little time. People are clearly looking at you, but they're all kind of like, <gasps> but, like, nobody says anything. They're all kind of like, wow, look at her go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm so down. Just, like, we're, like, we're, like, those, um uh the images of like the like the women eating salad and they're like ha, ha, ha. yeah women eat laughing eating salad <laughs> that's, that's yeah us. yeah that, that's us these salads are hilarious <laughs> it's like have you guys ever seen that thing where people no. be like like <laughs> our game nice like our game but like out of context with just images like one of the images would just be like women laughing over yeah. salad and people would be like what happened in this episode i thought yeah. this was D. &D. you didn't know you didn't know matter. it is no. <laughs> yeah, you do. Sorry. Yeah, you do. So, yeah, you do. <laughs> there's a few, just as a, as a thought to you guys, as you have your food, 
there's a few things you guys could talk about. You could talk about uh, the cute boy who Ryan's definitely not interested in, or maybe more about the unseen and the group there and joining them. You could talk about Penny. Um, you could ask what happened and why she got tortured. Wherever you guys want to take it. But we're trying to have a nice lunch. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't nice, know what to tell you. This is D and D. This is how people have a lunch. Early lunch. <laughs> They're just ideas. If you don't want to focus on them, you mm -hmm. can just eat your uh, cucumber you sandwiches. Have a nice lunch in D and D. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's That's not true. Laura and I definitely played entire games where all we have done is eat brunch. <laughs> Yeah, and then look what happened. The entire world got destroyed. Because oh, you can't no. just you can't just eat brunch and not focus on the fact that the world's ending. Oh. Yeah, you can't just laugh at salads all day. I just killed Laura's heart. <laughs> what do you mean I can't just eat lunch? It hurts. It's brunch. Everybody that needs hurts. brunch. <laughs> so I just realized I was like, we're about to see, and I tried, and she was mean. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, Ellie's probably curious about Ryan, because no Ryan's background or anything, or, like, where she came from, or... Mm -hmm. or... Oh, hello? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, did I... Great. Sorry, I was just saying that Ellie doesn't know much about Ryan besides, you know, who Ryan is now, but like, she probably want to know like, like, you know, I mean, you know a little bit about my people. Tell me about your people. Um, I, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to lie. <laughs> <gasps> You're gonna lie? <laughs> On our lovely brunch out? No, I know. Um, I don't. I don't remember much. Um, I've been gone since I was small, and I don't. This is mostly the only home I've ever known. It's not. It. It's all right. It's. It's been okay. It's been okay. I mean, this is kind of a sad place if it's all of you you've ever known. I mean, have you ever seen the world outside? Um, not much, not much, but, but I think there's, <clears throat> and you can take pride in doing your job well, no matter what your job is. For a baker, you could be the best baker that you can be, or if you're a prince, you could be the best prince that you could be. There's something I think to be said in taking what you have and and doing the best with it. I agree. I do agree, but I I also agree that there's more to life than than jobs and work and you know, do I mean even duty like I back when I was part of my village. I mean I I had duty, but you know that wasn't all I liked to do. And everyone but Carmen is gone. Do you remember? Have you been? Have you been back? Do you? Or is it just what you've been told? That everyone's gone. Well, I, rem I remember. I remember part of the last day, when the war was on. It's just, uh, I haven't heard anything. It's mainly just what the last few of us heard. Everything's gone. Everyone's dead. Um, enslaved, separated, put to death. Did you see Penelope? Was she there? I didn't the Empress. see her. Oh, I did see her. On the battlefield? Uh, she probably, like, lined up the Elder Council and, like, systematically murdered them in front of you. Yep. 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 She, she was there, yep. <laughs> she was the one who 
assigned who was to die next. Um, yep. All of our history through thousands of years. Well, yeah. all of it. Let's see, yeah, it's, it's gone. No, there's you, and then there's Carmen, and there's... It's not... It's not gone. From what I know, that's mainly it. And I think that's plenty. <laughs> you think it's plenty? <laughs> that all that's left of my people is me and another, <laughs> and that the rest were... Murdered? No, no, no. I mean, it's enough to... It's enough of your... Your culture and your story to... to start again. To... For not everything to be lost. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, um... <coughs> I will say that um, our people have never been one to be imprisoned. This is probably the first ever in history where we've been taken and enslaved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these sausages are delicious. <laughs> yes, yes. I, those jam tarts. Have you tried the jam tarts? They have custard on top and then like a little sprinkling of sugar. Those are those are also very good. This is supposed to be I'm sorry, this is not supposed to supposed to be having fun, not um <laughs> we we keep seem to be diving back into that into those into those dark pools of memories and things. That's a big part of your life. It's not that easy to erase it. No. No. And it, it'll never be erased. Not as long as you're alive. Not as long as I'm alive and I can do something about it. I mean, I would never do something about it. Another time. Another time. Another it's, time. Yeah. We're supposed to be... We're, we're having a nice lunch. Can I bring out the alcohol now? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Bring it out. Yep. 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 We're going to do that. Yep. We're going to do that. Yep. I'm going to start drinking. This is, I mean, this is just going to end in both of them crying and sobbing and still talking about the same thing. But regardless, <laughs> we're going well, to do it anyway. You know what? I think this is your chance to add more alcohol than you normally would to your mimosas. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're getting trashed. Yeah, you're, you guys are gonna go. Yeah. You you got dressed up. You put on fancy dresses, and now you're gonna get smashed. And probably bottomless mimosas. Bitch. High five, Ellie. I feel like you're gonna make some mistakes, or maybe say something you didn't mean to say about a certain cute prince. Um, so let's find out how well you can hold your alcohol. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Not good. Not good. I mean, I could roll well, so you know. Yeah, there's always. You hope. could. There's always. You could. Well, well fifty fifty. Um. Let's do <laughs> like a like a Constitution save. Let's see if you can save against alcohol. My constitution modifier is zero. Oh, beautiful! I know that. Great, great. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh, cool. Um, so the yeah. alcohol, the alcohol rolled a d twenty and got a twenty. So you guys are no smashed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, we're just like laying in the grass next to each other. We're like looking up at the clouds. We're like, fuck all this. That fucking shit sucks. That's funny shit sucks. Fucking shit. So, you know what's bullshit, Ellie? You know what's bullshit? Everything. Everything. 
Yeah, these fucking walls around this palace of bullshit. Oh, and why are they so high? This, this is stupid. Room, this is so fucking stupid. Everything. Like, people aren't even that high. Like, they don't even need to be that high, but they yeah. made them that high. The people aren't even that tall. It's stupid. It's stupid. stupid. It's fucking embarrassing, if you ask me. It's stupid. Stupid and okay. embarrassing. Embarrassing. So embarrassing. Like, who needs walls that big? Yeah, and, and these all these fucking fancy clothes. Who needs these? They're not even clothes. I don't even keep anything warm. I'm not even warm half the time, and all the time I'm cold, and everything is cold. Is that why my feet are so cold right now? All the time, and I have them stuck on Ellie, and I'm <laughs> all the time. Everything is so cold all the time. Uh, <sighs> it's not even real clothes, and they just. This is a fucking joke. This is a fucking joke, if you ask me. Yeah, fucking they joke. They won't even protect you if you get fucking stabbed or something. No. Stupid. No. I didn't get armor. I didn't get armor. I didn't get armor. I didn't get, like, <laughs> trousers. Yeah, you don't boots. even have pads. Yeah, you're, like, always in your the dresses and, like, half of your leg is out. And it's not like... even in a dress. This is just, I'm... like... It's like a little bit of fabric. It's like a loincloth or it's something. It's like paper. It's like fucking paper. You can tear it. You can tear it. Like if you got wet, like you could tear it. Like oh you my just God. tear like, the whole just thing off. Away in the rain. It doesn't. It doesn't even matter. I don't know. I'm gonna try to get into the bath. But I should. I should do that. If I get into the bath, and it just like, it's away. Maybe if you get rid of all your clothes, then they'll have to get your new clothes that will actually protect you and be better and like. No, not at all. Buckles, but they don't. Yeah, but see, they don't know that I'm good at stabbing people, but they don't know that. That's crazy. You're amazing at stabbing people. Oh, no, why? Like, it, should be, it should be your main job is sneaking and stabbing and doing all these crazy things. I'm good, and I'm good, and I'm good at stabbing. I do not stab people. People don't even know that I'm stabbing them until I stab them. Until it's like too late, and then it's like, oh shit, my uh, injury is tender now. It's oh, oh, no. oh, there's blood is everywhere. Ah. Shh, but you can't tell them. Just, yeah, like volume like up to 11. <laughs> you can't, you can't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that I'm stabbing people. <laughs> not supposed to say that I'm stabbing. I'm not supposed to be stabbing people. That's stupid. No, I know. I'd rather be stabbing people than fucking people. But, but I mean, it's like it's not a, like an application, right? That you fill out <laughs> what, what part of the job would you like? Like a stab. Like a stab. Check mark. It's just I a. Mean, it's just a. Would you like to it. stab or be stabbed? That's the two options. Ooh. I think I'd yeah. like both, please. Sometimes you need a good stabbing. <laughs> Ellie, <laughs> you can't get blood all over everything. You can't, you're not supposed to have blood all over all your clothes. It's almost it's like it's a pattern or something. You don't even have to pay for it. You just think I'm a very juicy person. You know, like, when people poke you and then everything just, like, leaks out. Oh. Like a, like a, like a, like a tangerine. Like, I like, you're like a tangerine. I don't know what a tangerine is. What um, does that like a... mean? Don't worry, you have tangerines. You have tangerines with you. Like this. Like this. <laughs> it's like an orange. You don't eat the outside. You don't eat the outside. No, I mean, don't eat the outside. You are right, eat the outside. Apparently, there's protein in the peels of things. <laughs> um as uh, Ellie eats as Ellie begins to eat the peel of the um what was it a clementine a tangerine 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 um your good friend Weiss the guard shows up <clears throat> who what Weiss yeah Weiss is your friend who is Weiss is the one who's always like, you just oh. chill out for five minutes and you never do. Oh my God. Weiss, <laughs> you're here. And I've just got tangerine like all over my face. I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull Ellie up. <gasps> what are you doing here? Nothing, what? 
is he doing here? I'm on guard duty and someone was screaming. I'm guessing it was you. Were laughing. It's totally, it's totally different. Why would Sometimes I? Sometimes be... laughing can sound like screaming, but it's just laughing. It's just fun, wise. It, see, see how pretty she looks. See, it's all just fun. Look at her. See, what are totally you... fun. Look. Please stop rubbing your breasts in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you? I am doing no such. Thing. And she's just like looks down. It's like oh. Uh -oh. oh shit! What you... shit. It turns out I am. <laughs> oh, do I need you to send someone to get you back inside? More wine, more wine. Yes, if he could bring someone to get us more, more wine. More... Yeah, we're, we're empty. Yes. We're empty. Yes, there's nothing. That's if we could get some more. Cause Another. Then I just break it. <laughs> He jumps to the side so you don't hit his glass. foot. <laughs> she she broke she broke her glass accidentally. She broke it, and I think that if you should go and get on guard duty, we are in trouble. We are out of alcohol. She is out of a glass. So two, three, three alcohols and a glass, please. I'll get right on that. Thank you, good guard. Mm. Thanks, wise. Mm. He's he walks away, but he's not. He doesn't know quite what to think. <laughs> He's gonna snitch on us. I just turned to Ryan and I'm just like, isn't he so cute? He's in charge of me half the time. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Easy. He's got the cutest it. foot. It's like two melons. Shh. I, I, oh. I, 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 Yeah. I yeah, he it. he heard that. Yeah. Yeah, he he heard you say that. <laughs> We're just waving when he looks back. He no, he no, no, he's like jerking. Let's jerking. Push off the hand down. Do you make a jerking off gesture to him? <laughs> No, she's like this. Okay. Like, in the background, it's like between us, and it's like... <laughs> she's like, like waving think, her hand. Like I that. think they're propositioning me, but I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> He's like, do they want to have a threesome in the garden with me? <laughs> He's like, but if this is how they do it, I don't think I want to be involved. <laughs> I don't think I want to. He's all loose them. <laughs> Turns out, they're terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. We are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you guys continue drinking into uh, the afternoon, into dinner, until you are all out of everything. You ate all the cheese, but there are lots of crackers left. But no cheese. Oh my god. We're so drunk. Shit face. Shit face. Shit face. Absolutely fucking blasted. Um, let's see. That was, I, not, I, that was not what was supposed to happen. You know what? I don't have a d4 here, so I'm going to use d8 and cut it in half. You. <laughs> um, ben came by at some point while you guys were drinking, uh, and you managed to convince him to bring you two more bottles of wine. Um, you suggested two, um, and he couldn't help himself. Benjamin! <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, Have small wine. <laughs> yeah, we are too good for our own good. <laughs> danger, danger, We're danger. We need adult supervision, right? <laughs> yes. Where's All right. Penny? Uh, Penny has bring back Penny. Penny has maybe been studying all day. Like Penny's kind of a nerd, so Penny's kind of a nerd. I love our little nerd though. She's so sweet. 
I just want, I just want to find some more skeletons and things and bring them to her. She has like bones. They're like they're all over her room. So there's not even room for more. Like if she has more skeletons, where she could have put them? We should get her like a, we should get her a mausoleum or something. <gasps> oh, like we could hang them. We could hang them <gasps> from the ceiling. Oh. Like 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 a balloon or streamers for her birthday. <laughs> but it's just a whole bunch of skulls. Oh no! <gasps> so many ideas all of a sudden! <laughs> she would be so surprised. Do you know when Penny's birthday is? Is it soon? I feel like it's soon. It's probably soon. <laughs> I feel like we should get Penny. <laughs> yeah, it's probably soon. <laughs> I think we should get planning. We should make a banner. Oh. We can paint it. You know who could probably help you is Penny's sister. She definitely knows. Tiff. 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 Tiffania. Tiffania. Oh, yeah. She's the one with a, a horse. A horse. She was a horse. She was a cloak. She was a. Right. She was a horse cloak. Was it Tiff? Yeah. And now she's just Tiff. So if we yeah. can get her, maybe we can uh, move her into this, and then she can help us. We can, let's, we can, <gasps> let's go get. We should go get her. Yeah. Go, Penny won't mind. Penny won't mind. Penny won't mind. Penny won't know because we're going to tell. We're going to tell her sister that we're having. We're doing this because it's all a big it's surprise. A secret. Party Shh. for Penny. Shh. Yeah. Shh. And she won't say anything because we're trying to do something nice for Penny. And she won't say anything. So let's go. We can go. Right. We can leave the rest. Wait, but no, wait, bring the bottles. Bring the bottles. Get the bottles. Get the Yeah, get the bottles. Get, 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 yeah, get the bottles. You don't need the glasses. Just bring the bottles and then we'll leave everything. Alright, let's get this up. Alright, okay. Do you, do you what, what floor was Penny's sister on? How do we We can ask for directions, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Right. Probably right, yeah, take off take off our shoes and we're like with wine. Yeah. <laughs> We've each got like two bottles of like a bottle of wine in each hand. <laughs> yep. We're going. Um like, yeah, I oh, mean no. you're probably um, fine. There's no interactions of alcohol with whatever you have to help with your pain. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna or be fine. Not yet, certainly. Not not yet. Not yet. Usually alcohol works really good until the alcohol wears off and then you're like fuck i shouldn't have done that yeah which has been my life experience to be fair so well, yeah yeah Tom but that that's the ryan of tomorrow's problem ryan of today ryan of today is having a great time it's all about party planning we're not talking about ryan of tomorrow ryan of today is having a great time great right we're, great. Going, we're going to find her we're going to find her all right. Oh, a birthday party. Okay. <gasps> you continue on your birthday quest. Oh my god. Michael's Michael's going to Michael's going to come back and be like, "What have you done?" <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> um Happy birthday. I'm so excited. Happy birthday. You will need to roll some checks to find your way there. Um this is going to be a skill yeah. challenge because of how drunk you are. Um, so you yep. guys can choose to roll however you want to try to find Tefania and make it to her room. Um, oh. and yeah. we'll right. do, um, three successes before three failures. Let's see if you can do it. Are you rolling anything nice? I'm doing my Easter pink. Oh! I will do my OG Bowie Alice's. <gasps> let me, okay, then let me do my OG Pink Borealis. Oh, should I go get my Borealis? Okay. Yeah, you probably should. Yeah. I mean, I, I gotta say, like, it's my fine. little, it's these fine. guys have been rolling real well tonight. Real well. What do you have? These are yours, Laura. You made these. Oh, of course I fucking did. Bastard. These are my cute little bice. My bice. They're so cute. Bastards, bastards, but I don't... They betrayed you. They betrayed you. Because they hate me. They do, They're but so they love funny. me. Yep, they well. love me. You don't even get the... You can't even capture the beauty of the glitter, though. Like, that's the great struggle. You can't see the and glitter. And there's my last like in there as well. See? See? Ooh. Inked there's and gray. Rainbow Anyways. Color shift my <laughs> They're real fancy. All right, let's see it. Let's see those rolls. What are you guys going to do? Let's go back and forth. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to do... Shit. Okay, so can we, like, tag team our roles? Like, if I do stealth and Ellie does, like, streetwise or dungeoneering? Or, you know what I mean? Something yeah. that, like, I keep us quiet and she leads us in the right direction? Yeah, you guys can survive, decide how to do it any way you want. Um, just you can't use the same role back to back. Yeah. Okay. So I think we should like team, like team our roles. So if I do stealth, I'm gonna be the one that's keeping us quiet, and then you're gonna be the one that's keeping us on track. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That sounds. And if I do like performance, so that sounds good. yeah. So you're the you're the one who's trying to lead the way, and I'm the one who's trying to make us not get caught. Uh, drunkenly exploring the castle? Sure. I mean, you definitely don't want to get caught by, like, the Empress, yeah. for example. Yeah. So I'm going with, like, I'm going to do stealth, deception, and performance. All right, let's go back and so forth. Where are you starting with? By us, that might... Uh, I'm going to start with stealth. All right, let's see it. <laughs> 18. I That's also twenty six in total. I also mm. rolled an eighteen, but you're so good at it, you win. Yes. Oh my God. Beautiful. All right. Um, you. Good. Yeah, you can manage to convince some um people working that you know they're not where you think you are. So they think they hear drunken laughing, but then there's nobody down the hall, so it's fine. Ooh. Ellie, what are you Ooh, gonna do? Ghosts, drunk ghosts. It's just drunk ghosts, man. I am going to roll. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a roll a survival check to see if I can find the way to Tiff's. Try to set us off on the right path. Okay, okay. You're gonna do kind of like a natural, like, can I make it through here without maybe someone do... killing us? Yeah. That's surviving. Okay, but it's, but I can only roll survival once, right? I have to do something else yep. after? Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so maybe I'll do. I'm gonna do maybe survival. Is it not still streetwise and dungeoneering? There's no, um, yeah. But maybe, maybe. Edition, oh, what have you done? Okay. Yeah, for uh, anyone maybe, who doesn't maybe, know, Laura maybe, hates yeah. fifth edition Three. with all her heart. So. Everything, all of my being, my entire being. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do maybe survival. Okay. History to see if I can remember the path yep. and, and um, perception. Okay. Good. I like that. That's logical. Oh, yeah, I like I don't know. Let's see a roll. Yep. Okay. That's an 18 plus four. So 22 for me. Congratulations. You guys do another success. That one was for um, survival. Survival, yeah. Cool. Yeah. You naturally know how to avoid the guards who are going to take your alcohol away. No. <laughs> like, I, I imagine you, like, like, I would. Yeah. Like, I imagine, like, if this was any other story, there'd be, like, a dramatic scene where, like, there's guards coming and someone pushes the other person down, like, a, a hallway and they're pressed up against each other and they're breathing heavily. But you guys just, like, are trying not to let your bottles clink. <laughs> This is more like if Ryan sees someone yeah. coming, she like pushes me down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, and it'd be quiet. That's how you survive. And it's like, it's Mission Impossible music playing in the background <laughs> as we're like, dun, 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 dun. All right. I am just Ryan at this artwork. Can yeah. you get the last success? That's another 18. Yep. Another 26. Uh, and that's to what? <laughs> uh, performance. Beautiful. The one person you meet is convinced that you guys are carrying, like, empty bottles. Ooh, that was an exciting turn. That was really exciting. Can you see it? I do see it. Oh, fuck yeah. Um... The one person you see, um, you convince hey. that you're just bringing empty bottles, like, to the cellar. You're just very, very good servants. And you find yeah. Tefania's room. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie, approximately how many knocks do you knock, like, in your mad knocking? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty, 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 probably almost twenty. Okay. Um, about let's see how many. About eleven knocks in, the door disappears, and you fall on your face. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> what happened? I think um magic. <gasps> um, Tifania is standing inside the room and she's like one of us is magic. Tifania, you're so magic. I uh, am. Excuse me. Who? Are you okay? I've never been better. We're planning. We're planning a party, and we came here because we wanted your help to plan a party. For Penny, for Penny, for her birthday. Yes. Which is coming up, right? Yeah. Um, yes. it, it's a couple months oh. away, so I, I guess, yeah. So yeah. soon, yeah. <laughs> Very soon, especially when you have to, you know, get to uh, catering and, and all those things. It's a lot of work. So, right, okay, we want to do, and if we could have your help, because you have lots of magic, right? We imagined, okay, like, like a whole bunch of skulls floating, right? Yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, mm, that makes sense. Mm, mm. Yeah, like bones and skulls and everything floating. With 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 lots of ribbons and things, because she <gasps> likes ribbons. Them. Yeah, pu purple, purple. Yeah. She likes purple ribbons. Right. So if we do like purple and 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 gold, and because it matches her hair and. Yeah. Um, and her eyes and her complexion, she has to look pretty because it's her birthday. So if we kind of build a theme around, um, well, is that around her. You got to look pretty on your birthday. I thought you, it was whoever was drenched in the most blood one. No, 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 no. That, that's, that's a different kind of birthday party. This is just supposed to be fun. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, just fun and celebrations and making the birthday girl feel special and beautiful. That's sure. what we're that's what we're going for. Yeah. Okay. Not so some, no sacrifices. So blood the, rituals. So the theme like, is what? Dungeons, maybe? I feel like we should have some kind of monster involved though. Like zombies? Like dungeons and zombies? Oh <gasps> zombies. Like an actual <gasps> We could do it in the catacombs under the castle. There's... Yeah. We'll sneak her in there and she won't know what's going on. Oh, and then someone could pretend to, like, steal her or, like, kidnap her. <gasps> so she's all afraid and then we just... We oh. throw zombies at her. Okay, I Lots can't, I can't make undead. real zombies, but I can make the illusion of zombies. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, no yes. cleanup. That's, that's the good thing. That's I mean, contours do throw the best parties. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's plan this out some more. Do you, do you have more of that? And she gestures at your alcohol. Um. You can have. You you can have this one. Is it like half drunk? <laughs> yep. Cool. Uh, she takes it and sniffs it and then downs like a quarter of what's left. Okay, hang on. Let me just. She goes over to like a little bookshelf she has. She's like, spell book, spell book. Oh, party planning book. Here we go. And she pulls a notebook <gasps> off the like shelf. Oh, we should write things down. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it like party planning for dummies? Yes. So this right. is her book so on Penny, party planning. You get, you get someone to try and kidnap Penny, and then Penny's going to be terrified, right? We're going to like have these people pretend like they're going to murder her and drag her into the catacombs beneath the palace. Okay. And then when she gets into the catacombs beneath the palace, we'll all be waiting there. 
right? And when they've everything decorated, there must be, I mean, I have not, I haven't explored the catacombs beneath the palace, but I mean, there must be some sort of large burial chamber and Penny loves skulls and loves bones and stuff like that. But if we, but if we do like the skulls and bones and decorate it really nicely and then once the people drag her in pretending that they're going to stab her in the chest and then everyone jumps out and says, happy birthday. It's a right? great idea. Right. I think so. So I think Ellie is the most likely of all of us to to convince Penny she's going to die. So you'll probably be the kidnapper. And you know those guards. You know those other guards. You know, the, the, the cute one. The cute one that keeps looking at your ass when you walk yes. away. That one. Yes. Why? Get him to do it. Yes. Of course, he'll totally be up for this. This is like right up to me. Okay, and then you said down in the catacombs, below the castle. Do you know where? Yes. I mean, there's mostly storage down there, I isn't it? There's like a... No, like a... But if we start now, then if there's like a type of... Like a type of underground mausoleum, then we can start cleaning it out and making it more of a hospital space for a party. Right, hospitable zombies. Right? Yeah, a hospital space for the party. <gasps> what if we what if we can serve little cookies and they're shaped like little bones? <gasps> yeah. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write oh. that down. Write it down. Oh, should we draw a sketch of it? Yes. Should we draw like a sketch of the different we could do like little like femur shaped bones and like skull shaped bones and you know? Yeah, right? so she, she writes down yeah. cookies and then below it she's got like um like different bones to do and then also different kinds of cookie. Mm. <gasps> Maybe we could have like a cookie that you bite into it and it like spits blood. Mm. And we could do like a like a drink, like a blood red drink. So like if it spills out of your mouth, it looks like you've consumed blood. Like it Yeah. Maybe we could have like a magic drink or something. <gasps> oh, Penny's going to be so surprised. I hope she loves it. I think she will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. We'll have to find yeah, we'll have to find the right place. But what about um will your will your parents want to come? Yeah, oh yeah, they would probably they probably love to come to her birthday. Um what about um Ellie's um oh, sorry, Penny's um her schoolmates or or teachers or friends or from school like we should we should invite everybody. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, she must I mean, still know people there. She must. I mean, maybe we can just kind of put an invitation out. I mean, I went there. I can see if anybody wants to come. Yeah. And if you push it out, then the people... I mean, we can push it out to everybody. And then the people that know Penny will still come. And if they don't know Penny, then they can't. But, I mean, whatever. We should invite... We should offer the invitation to everybody. I mean, if we're going to have it in the castle, the people, we'll have the to better. sneak them in or something, won't we? Well, if it's an underground catacomb, I'm assuming that there's an underground entrance. Ooh. That's kind of really set the mood. Like a like a guest entrance. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You okay. guys Right. So that's all right. <laughs> Perfect. This is the worst idea ever. Yeah, definitely you should invite it's Penny's parents to this party. This is why you don't leave your party unattended, Penny. This is what you get. Penny, Penny. This is what you what get. Happens. What this happens if you're you not get. here, Penny? Perfect. You get a surprise birthday party. You guys spend, oh, two or three hours planning this party. Um, you, Tifania gets, like, nicely drunk. Like, she's just happy and bubbly. Um, but you guys are, like, slowly, like, like, not slowly. I mean, you're consistently drunk. We were shit faced when we got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we're we're at least maintaining that level. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm definitely flipping through like Penny's books and like finding the ugliest image, and I'm like, huh, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Push down, Ellie. You know you don't. Push, you don't just touch anything that belongs to Penny. Push it down. Push it down. <laughs> okay. You're not <laughs> dirty fingers. <laughs> There's definitely some fingerprints in there now. 
Okay. All right. I have to go to bed, you two. Okay. Like, I have work tomorrow, right. and, you know. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for helping us. Bye, what? Tiff. And I'll give Bye. her, like, a big bear hug, and I'm like, see you later. Aww. Um, you go to leave the room, and, like, like, as soon as you walk up to the door, it, like, disappears. <laughs> right, I told you. I think I'm magic. <laughs> no, it's wizards. It's them. They're all a bit... I think Ellie should draw the conclusion that doors don't exist and she just walk into every door from now on, just in case she is magic. I think they're like a figment of your imagination. And I'm gonna like okay. look, close the door and I'm gonna like Boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. That must not have been it, might, it was, probably wasn't ready. You probably ran too fast. I think uh, um, it's too hard. Are you are you what? You're bleeding. Am I bleeding? Well, let me see your teeth. Show me your teeth. No, you're all right. You're all right. Oh, okay. No, you're good. Okay. okay. All right. No, you're right. All right. Oh. Where are we going now? What should we do? What time is it? Are people done dinner now? Oh yeah. I have no concept of time. I mean, you did leave that, like, delicious sandwich at our son's door. Maybe that's still there. <gasps> Do you think he ate it? I'm going back to steal a sandwich underneath somebody's door. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. We're not going, we can go looking at food other places. You don't have to steal oh, half-eaten, smushed-up bread from under someone's door. Oh, what if he didn't eat it? There's a perfectly good jam sandwich right there. Oh, what? Did. He might have. Well, we got a go check. I won't sleep until I've checked for the sandwich. All right, it's Ellie. Sandwich. Ellie leads Ellie, the way. It's a, it's a bit of bread and jam that you shove with your fingers underneath oh, the crack in his door. It's not a sandwich. Oh. Right. Sandwich. <laughs> Quietly. Okay. Silently. 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 Checking for bread and jam. Silently. 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 Um, okay. One of the brothers is going to catch you. Which one is it? I'll let you pick, because I'm so kind. Is it Atlas who's been looking for Ryan all day, or is it our son who did get this sandwich originally? My vote is for our son, because if it comes out, then Ellie has more information to use against Atlas, who she sees all the time anyway. All right. Uh, and you... Ellie having that information, but Ellie hasn't made a vote yet. And then if it's 50-50, then it comes down to GM discretion. I vote arson. You pick arson too? Because I want that sandwich. <laughs> want that sandwich. Of course you do. Um, Ryan, you come up the stairs to um, the fourth floor. And you see um, Ellie is flat on her stomach on the floor in front of our son's door. And she's, like, peeking under, like, trying to... And she's got, like, her little fingers doing, like, a little scoop. You know how cats try to get under doors? She's just scooping. Come on. Come on. Grab her feet. What? Grab her feet and try and pull her off. She's wearing my dress. She's wearing my dress. This is, like, probably the most... <laughs> Insulting position, and I'm just going to drag you down the floor in my dress. No, cool. the sandwich. <laughs> it's not a sandwich. Right, I, I can, can more see bread. it. <laughs> stop, shh, 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 stop screaming. <laughs> I mean, Atlas, Atlas's, and Arsene's doorways are really not that far. Back. No, they're you know or down not, the hallway, but. Right. 
Uh, as you are dragging no, Ellie towards like. the stairs, uh, the door to our son's room opens, and Ellie gets a burst of energy, thinking that sandwich is so much closer. <gasps> My dad went <laughs> Are you like ringing this, like crawling on your hands and knees, all creepy? Like, <laughs> um, you crawl up on your oh hands God, and I'm knees. Surprised. It's still there, isn't it? You crawl on your hands and knees to the door, and you look up at Arsen, uh, and he just looks down at you like, "What is this sandwich?" Pardon? Sandwich. He leans out the door and like looks at Ryan. Like, <laughs> um, the kitchens like, aren't here. She had um, <laughs> that was a, funny, a funny story. Um, she was trying to apologize and put um some bread and jam under your door and because she was sorry because she tried to choke you with her axe and then we tried to make like an apology of, about it and okay. then it, we it was a long day and then she was hungry and realized that that the bread and jam might still be under your door and you might not have eaten it so then we came back to see if she could have the jam under your door so... and I tried to make her be quiet. I, let me let me see if I understand what's happening here. So, Ellie wanted to apologize for trying to kill me in my own bedchambers and decided to give me something I can get for free, but slid all over the floor. And now she wants to reclaim the gift and the apology from me, assuming that I have not yet eaten or gotten rid of said sandwich, which I think is a very, very... Uh, inaccurate representation of what that was. Isn't he funny? I don't, don't I'll tell you he was funny. I don't, he's, he's very funny. He's really funny. And I'm looking at Ellie on the floor. <laughs> She's like licking up. No, like I smell the jelly. <laughs> I smell it. It was here. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I meant to tell you that he was really funny. I don't know. I don't know if I got a chance to say that. I might have. I might have. But he's very funny. Did you tell but her any? Did you tell her anything else that I am besides funny? No. No. We don't. Regardless of what you think, we actually spend all of our time talking about you. None of it. To be accurate. In, spend, in today's measurement. If you spent none of it We're talking about me, then how does she know that I'm funny? No. We, because I, I didn't... I thought I might have said it, but I don't know if I said it. But I think if I did say it, then I want to tell her that I did say it, that she knew that I did say it. But if I didn't say it, then I want her to know that, that I, I still believe and I still meant it, even if I didn't say it. It's all very complicated. I don't know if you're following along. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a very, very long day. Very long, complicated day. So if you're not, yeah, it's it's hard to understand. Arthur, it's not. We had drinks in the gardens. In we are going to bed now. Are you? Yes. Were you hoping to spend another night when, in my bed? When... No, why would I? Why would I hope that? I was hoping that. She put a sandwich under your door, which is why we're here. You that just seems... happen to live a door down from... Seems like a very convenient excuse to come visit me, doesn't it? What if she put a sound under your door? <laughs> not, I can't, I can't, I'm not even making that up. There is literally a sandwich underneath your door. Mm. I'm not, I'm not inventing that. And that sandwich has been here all day. So that's, I don't, I don't, I was, I was very grateful for your help. That was, that was lovely. That was everything wise, except that that's not, I have 
a job and I have things that I have to do and I should get to doing my brother yeah 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 that's that's that is the job that that job that job I don't know what he is I, I mean I could guess but I, I mean I don't I don't I don't know uh shale would like to know if ellie is passed out on the floor <laughs> or just licking the floor maybe besides the remnant jam <laughs> she's just laying on her back <laughs> oh shit shit this is tense <laughs> yeah are you just like sitting on the floor like eating remnant <laughs> Are you laying like on your back, just staring up at them? Ellie, Ellie should be awake. Ellie, I'm. You don't even awake. You don't even need to roll for this. Um, They are heavily flirting. Ellie, in her brain, is just like, what do I do? You should say that out loud. That's flirting. You're too you're too drunk to keep things inside, Ellie. Yeah, in in her mind, she's she thinks she says it in her mind. It's just like, what do I do? <laughs> keep eating. Eat your sandwich. Oh, did I say that out loud? Yes, of course you did. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love her. I love you. I know she I know she tries to strangle you, but she. Look at her! Look at her face! Look at her. She's like a little chipmunk on the floor, like... Look at, look at her! Look at her! I have to admit, I like her much better now than I did when she had an axe to my throat. She accidentally tried to choke you. It was... Misunderstandings happen. It's all just... Right? Just all in good fun. I mean, she could actually <laughs> apologize to me instead of eating jam on my floor. Ellie, Ellie, and I'm going to like kick her a little bit. Ellie, say you're sorry. Say, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Sorry, sorry I, for. I'm sorry for. Oh, almost strangling you, and being you mean. There you go. See, of course she's sorry. Look at her. Look at her beautiful face. Don't tell me that she's not sorry. She's very sorry. No, <laughs> I. Beautiful. I Don't saw me. you two dressing up earlier today, and um. She still looks very nice, considering. Bit flushed. <laughs> Bit flushed. <laughs> Need to get that dress cleaned. Face is her hair. Mm, I didn't like that one anyway. <laughs> is there something else I can do for you two? Or are you fine no. with dinner? No, we are... No, no, Ellie has eaten, is eating, is in the process of eating still. And then we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to go to, we're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to go. Get more wine! Yes, yes, that one. I think that would be very much not in your best interest. Well. Well, I don't know. Mm, mm, I think it'd be very much in our best interest. I mean, we've had nothing but wine all day, and we've had a great time. So more wine can only mean more good times, right? You know what? Not my responsibility. Sure, go for it. Have fun. You can come. You can come. Mmm. I feel like that would raise a lot of questions. We could go to the kitchen and get wine and then steal some food and just eat it all. And no one would ask if you asked for wine. No one would even ask if you wanted wine. Are you guys actually trying to convince him to go get drunk with you? A little bit. I don't want to go back to Atlas. (laughs) Ellie just thinks that everything is a good idea right now. 
Okay, all right. You guys can try. Each of you can have one argument on why why you think our son should come drink with you. You go first, Ellie. Well, because we're having such a good time. We've had nothing but good times all day. And and we'll go steal some food. And it'll, it'll be like a bonding session. It's what people do. They bond and they make friendships. And we could do something crazy. We could, we could do something really crazy. I don't our know son, what, but our we'll son is, some. is, he, actually, he knows that you're not trying to seduce him, but he's pretty sure that's what anyone else in the world would think. <laughs> Yeah. Like, he I knows... Like, we're gonna kill a guy, or we're gonna steal something. No, like, she like, actually means that. Like, 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 she means that we're gonna kill, like, we're gonna actually murder somebody. Like, our son's like, if any other woman said that to me, she'd mean, let's go have sex. But Elliot probably just means eat jam. She's pretty strange. Yeah. Gonna go do something really crazy. Okay. Alright, Ryan, what's your yeah. pitch? I'm so okay. So Ryan's really okay. She's really drunk. This is so this is so bad. Uh, right. Okay. Uh. So my strategy, my strategy, is like a light, like finger down his arm to his hand, and then say, um, I've sent your shit for cleaning. You should probably collect it. I'm the dumbest person in the world. The dumbest person in the world. <laughs> I don't think Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Tell you what. If you agree to play a little game with me, I'll come drink with you. What's the game? We take turns asking each other questions. No lies. I want to know more about you. But all's fair. For every question you answer, I'll answer one for you. Just us three. Just us three. And nothing that is said between the three of us ever on pain of death is repeated to anybody else. You know, I am a God, don't even have magic. We can't even, we can't even. I could just yep, order you to tell ready. me. So I think this is a rather fair game. You would certainly try. What are you going to do? Spank me? Oh, don't give me ideas. Well, come on in then. Fine. I'll order some alcohol come here. On. Best we not be overheard if we're talking about sensitive matters. This is the best idea ever. This is the best idea ever. I have so many fucking questions. Mm, Beautiful. Let's do it. Let's do it. Drinking game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, high, low, or middle? High. Low. Our son is first. You can ask him any question. Yes, Ryan. <laughs> Why do you hate Atlas? I don't hate Atlas. You said no lies. I don't hate him. I think... I think he's naive. I think he blinds himself to the truth of what's happening in the world. And I think he lets our mother manipulate him. It would be more fair to say that I don't respect him than that I don't like him. Mm. 
we don't get add-ons to any of this, do we? Not until it's your turn again. The so one question I wanted. Okay. All, All right. right. Fair enough. Okay. Next up is who said hi, R Ryan? Oh, I should have had you guys roll initiative. This is clearly an initiative roll. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, what is I this, beginner? This. I love this so much. What am I, a fucking beginner? <laughs> <laughs> you are okay. middle. Ellie's low. I'm high. All right. We're just going to go in order from this point. So, Ryan. Ellie, do you have a question for Ryan? Mm -hmm. Where are your parents now? They're dead. I can't add any other questions <laughs> on <to> that. <laughs> uh, our son and Ellie, I feel like we're both just like, whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. They've been dead, they, but, they, but they've been dead a long time. Ryan's not like, oh, oh. they're dead. Like, they're dead. <laughs> they've been dead a long time. No. Not like heartlessly, but just factually, they are dead. Right. It's but... not like a new thing. No. No. Nope. All right. Um. Hmm. What does our son want to know about Ellie? Would you actually have killed me the other night if I hadn't stopped you? No. Merely wanted to incapacitate you. <laughs> You've never done me any wrong. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's not like you're your mother. Hmm. True. Who's got another question? Isn't it our son's turn? Ellie asked. I asked. Is yeah. it our son's turn to ask? Are we not? Those? Our son would oh, like our to son know. Asked, would... Yeah, our son asked Ellie. Sorry, last. Oh, okay. So, Ryan, okay. So it's your turn to ask again. a question. Okay. Um... Uh, shit. Um, Ellie, sorry, how do I phrase? How do I, um, <laughs> do you think with the key you made the right choice? Mm. Yes. Ellie. So you have to give me five minutes. I'm sorry. Be right back. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Ellie, why don't you ask our son a question that, uh, an in-depth question. I'll tell you a story. Okay. Wait, ask him to tell me a story? Well, ask him something that, like, will, like, it's not a yes or no question. I mean, he has to give you some context about. Hmm. What? Why are your parents so keen on conquering? I can't say entirely no. Uh, my grandfather was a dictator who wanted more and more. I can only guess that he raised my mother to want the same thing. That's how he taught her to show her worth. And in the same way that he built an empire for her, she wants to build one for Atlas. I mean, she never had a mom. At least not one who raised her. 
She died in childbirth. No wonder your dad is such a... No wonder your dad is such a nice guy, apparently. My dad is a nice guy. What? According to Penny. Penny says he's, he's a nice guy. Oh, and you trust Penny's opinion. Is Penny very good at reading people? Not really. Yeah, not really. Yeah, so maybe I'd take that with a grain of salt. I wouldn't say he's a great guy either. I mean, him and my mom got married for a reason. To make babies. <laughs> she could have had a lot of people to make babies with. I mean, my father's not even the firstborn. I mean, he's noble, but it's not like his family was well off. Huh. Just saying he gave her something. At least just like, fuck, I'm just, just like, I'm so drunk right now, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Which you actually say out loud, of course. Oh, it says, fuck, I'm so drunk, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. Hmm. So, you and Ryan are close, right? Yeah, we're like this. Like this. Yep. Hmm. Do you know much about her? Oh, I know. I know, I know a bit. I know a bit. Um, I know that she's been here most of her life, I think she said. Uh, I mean, her parents are dead, obviously. She yeah. had a brother. She I likes... know that much. She had a brother? She's at least the one. She, she didn't say anything like that. She said that she never had a sister. Seems like that's why she's so obsessed with she... trying to make me and Atlas get along. Because she misses her brother. Well, that is... Well, that's, a, that's, that's quite, quite an issue. Hmm. Do you really think she's from here? I mean, she's, she said that she's been here most of her life. And you believe her? Well, is she not from here? I don't know. I just don't entirely believe her story. No? I don't know where they found her. Suppose I could go and try to find the manifest that she came with. Manifest. Well, if they were traveling slaves around, I'm guessing she wasn't the only one delivered that day. Right. That's fucked up. Oh, yeah. My parents love their slaves. They love them so much they made their own son slaves. But you got one of these, and like Ellie just like shows off her little her little ankle thing. Not quite as literal, but I mean, I'm lucky. At least they don't really care about me. You mean so you could leave this place? Oh, I mean, not until Atlas has the throne. At least has a child. As soon as he's made at least one or two, I'm sure they'll let me do what I want. Hmm. I mean, Mother's made it very clear that I'm a disappointment. I mean, that's quite shit. 
Don't think a mother should ever say anything like that. Oh, well, I don't hold her beliefs in high esteem, so my ego remains intact. Well, thank goodness for that, because without your ego... I don't know how the saying goes anymore. Are you too drunk? That's your ego. Yeah. I need another drink. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Pick a number. Any number. Mm, two digits. Seventeen. Ooh, an old vintage. He gets up and goes to a cabinet and starts looking through it. Oh my. Uh, as you look over his shoulder, it is mostly fancy, like, like, wine, like, scotches and, you know, of such. My, what? Well fancy we got no grog uh grog don't know what that is it's like it's like like it's like a like a wine and a like a maid mixed together it's not really fermented or anything it's kind of warm usually Ah, no, nothing that I keep here. This is usually my... <sighs> when I want something to drink and I don't want to have to speak to anyone to get it. Something like grog sounds more social. And I'd have to have friends to be a social drinker. You got no friends? That's kind of lonely. Oh, don't make me sound so pathetic. I don't need any friends. <laughs> Besides, you're not pathetic. You're fine. Besides, if you have friends, then they're there to betray you. After all, you've never had a friend betray you. No. Really? I mean, never. What kind of friends have you been making? <laughs> the royal kind. Never. Well, I mean, not betray. <laughs> Pardon me. I never had a friend. Well, uh, not been friends with someone after being friends with them, but it didn't seem. I mean, it kind of felt like betrayal, but it's not exactly. So tell me about that. I mean, come on, I'm yeah, telling you all my yeah. dark secrets. <laughs> well. Well, you know Carmen? Mm, Carmen? She's, she's, so she's, she's like one of the Smiths here. Oh, the one with the tattoos, like yours. Yeah, and she's got fucking wings. Yeah, I Why suppose so. two selfies here? Uh, everyone's got wings. I mean, who's not? Everyone's got wings. <laughs> well, the thing is... You know, we used, we used to be we used to be mates, not like mate mates, but like we're friends. Um, when we were younger, and she basically thought that I left her for dead, and I I didn't. But she told everyone that we did, and I thought that she left me in the woods, and that I left her in the woods, but I didn't. And uh, basically, people were mad at me for a long time, and. I mean, it wasn't true, but she got all mad and stuff and stupid. Did you tell her that you didn't do it? Yeah, I tried to. She didn't believe me. She called me a coward. Mm, that seems like a pretty big insult for your people, I'm guessing. Of course it is. It was... Out of nowhere, shit. I mean, at court, it's always the opposite. You know, it's the people who say something to your face that you can trust. It's the ones who try to be subtle that you have to watch out for. 
Most of my friends here aren't so subtle. I mean, Ryan's kind of subtle. But mainly she speaks her mind, and Penny, I don't think, has a subtle bone in her body. Mm. I mean, that's coming from me. I mean, I'm, we, we don't have subtlety where I'm from. Mm. You're just who you are. Maybe that's why I find you so interesting. A lot of you. Most people are afraid yeah, when they blood. come. Yeah. I'm not really afraid of much. No, I could tell by the fact that you threatened to kill me in my own room. You got very lucky you didn't try it though, someone else. Maybe it would have gotten me killed. Oh, certainly. If my mother found out, you wouldn't be beaten, you would be dead. And probably hung up somewhere as an example. She likes that. Really likes pikes. There's something to keep in mind for next time. So we'll say you went off to the oh, bathroom. Shit. You come back and uh, there are glasses of scotch laid out. Uh, Ellie picked a 17, which is an old vintage. So, you know, fancy. Are they both drunk? Or is Ellie drunk and Arsen is still... They're both drunk. Arsen's definitely been chatty. Yeah. Well, chatty Cathy over here. I uh, say I haven't seen him. So I don't... I missed... I've missed my... So you come back in. Cues. I don't... You come back in and you sit down. Uh, uh, where are you guys sitting? On the couch, I guess? Like, kind of in, like, his little seating area i feel like um, maybe we're yeah maybe we're on the half on the couch half on the floor I yeah i feel Allie's like probably on the floor yeah ellie's more of a floor layer i feel like um and when you come over uh he gives you like a really sincere smile and he kind of shifts so i don't know whose turn it is anymore but ellie and i have answered a lot of questions so i think it's your turn again That seems slightly unfair, considering I have to go to the toilet, but sure. <laughs> I'm not hiding things, despite what you think. That's a lie. Yeah. Hmm. What's a good Ryan question? Why didn't you want to talk to Rath the other night? He's... Sorry, how drunk am I again? Just drunk. <laughs> and you broke the seal, Real so... drunk? Uh, I'd say... Oh. Four to six U's in the word drunk. Probably a J in there somewhere. Yeah, like, you're not, you're not going so long that you're holding the button and it's just going and you're just kind of, like, lost in the moment. You're not that drunk. But you really want to, like, tap that you. He's doing something that I don't like. Ooh. He leans forward. What don't you like? Raph's such a good boy, too. You know, he's been here since he was a kid. I don't think I've ever seen him break the rules. We used to play together when we were little. Did you? Mm hmm. Oh, you and. Let me guess. Raph and Atlas. I mean, Atlas was a little bit too good for it. Too grown up for most mm. of our games. <sighs> Always the mature older brother. <laughs> funny how much more I know about your brother despite having been here for two months well you do share a room with him I'd hope you'd talk about something I sleep in a closet I don't talk to him then how do you know more about him it's than like I a little do? room I 
I just, I, I, not from speaking to him, but from things I've observed. It's different. It's different. We don't talk, but I have nothing better to do, apparently, than pay attention, so, and even then. So... You can't let something that juicy just so sit. I can't. I can't. I can't just. What's the not? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You need to try again. No, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not right. It's not. I mean, at least this way I mean just I mean at least if it's just this way then maybe probably certainly probably almost positively certainly just an eye die right okay so then that's that's a certainty right so then so then I'm about to die like relatively soon and then but but at least if I don't say anything then no one else is so it's a bit better it's no better that way you think someone's yeah. gonna die why would you die I mean, besides me. my mother. Oh, oh no, because I'm not. I'm not telling her what she wants to know, even though I know what she wants to know. But she, she knows what I want to know. She knows that I know what she wants to know, and then I'm not telling her what she wants to know, even though she wants to know it. And if I don't tell her, then Brian. Okay, so next time. Hmm? Are you going to tell us? I thought we were playing a fun game. This is slightly less of a fun game because it's what resulted in me being beaten in the first place and which will likely result in what kills me in the second place. Well, if you tell and me what I it is, you, I can protect you. No. I don't like I don't know do I do I do I do I spill? Oh my god, that's like the worst thing ever. I'll answer anything. Somebody give her more drinks. Anything you want to I know. mean, if you've gotten it from Scott now, yeah. Any question. Somebody you can even ask follow-ups if you prefer. Pass her the bottle. Yep, yep, give her the bottle. Give her the bottle. Give her the bottle, and then when she starts drinking, tilt it up. Tilt it up. Yep, 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 yep. Take your medicine, baby. <laughs> Oh, I can't, I can't. oh, it's better for the story, but it's so horrible. I'm not. I'm not a horrible person. I'm not a horrible person. I don't help people like that. It's not. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um. Oh. Fuck, I can't, like, I can't, oh! <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't out them. I can't, I can't. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm okay. sorry. That's fine. I can't, I can't. Like, if, if she goes to be beaten for it, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. That's okay. It's not right. It's not right, she wouldn't do it. It's not right, I'm sorry. That's perfect. Um, I'm sorry. You seem like you're almost going to say it, and then you start backpedaling saying how you can't, you can't. And um, Our son seems a little surprised at how, how concerned you are about it. Like, he clearly thought, like, maybe something happened that you weren't supposed to have seen, like, you went into a room you shouldn't have gone into, and clearly this is more than that. Um... Yeah. The room kind of goes awkwardly quiet for a long moment. I guess I lost my chance to ask you something. It's just, it's not, it's not my place to, it's not my place to say. It's not. It's not my information to tell. Like, I can't. 
I can't. And if I was going to tell, then I probably should have done so before your mother. But it's not my place to say. All right. It's just a game after all, right? And you'd say that until you're being whipped. <laughs> okay. Does is that the end of your drinking game with our son? I think Ellie's probably passed out by now. Oh, like while Ryan was like debating that, Ellie probably like leaned back on some pillows and was just like. what's um what's ryan's like is she just kind of like really anxious right now is she sad is she thoughtful oh shit um she um she's comfortable being here so it's, it's not that um there's like a it, but it's like a sense of dread right because she knows that i mean maybe she's past this conversation with or maybe that's not even so bad because she assumes that like she spoke to raf and raf has probably told atlas and she, i mean like she thinks they don't really care about her they only care that she's kept their secret so they i mean they really don't care whether she's alive or dead aside from the fact that she's not told on them um, I don't know, does that make it a little, like, I mean, melancholy isn't the word? Like, that's okay. a bit shit, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I like that. Like, so, uh, the room's quiet, except for Ellie's snoring. Uh, and then you feel, um, Arsene's hand gently rest on top of yours. He says... I have to say, I'm surprised you'd risk so much for someone who... You're not who I imagined you were. Sometimes when... There's not a lot left. Sometimes doing what is right is all you have left and that's what's and that's what's best and that's all that you have to make you feel good or to make you feel like you're a decent person still and i don't have like a whole lot more than that left that's that's and if, I guess if I've lost everything else and then I'm still not a good person, then, then I don't know what the point. When you, then just nothing. When left. you turn back to look at him, um, his face is closer than it was when you started speaking. You can feel his breath on your neck, just below your ear. And he nestles along your ear with his nose for a second, taking a deep breath and smelling you. And then he breathes out no. intensely, heavily, and pulls away and says, you should probably go. Um, I... We'll go get someone to help me carry Ellie to her room. Right, to... yes. I have to go back to... Atlas. Atlas. Yes, I'm sure he'll be... 
wondering where I've been. <laughs> oh, he'll be busy. Who knows? Um, I can get, um, I'll go, I can go get someone mm. to help me, um, carry Ellie back to her bed. And, um, as you leave the sorry room, about the jam under, <laughs> under the door, as you leave the room, you look back at him one last time and he is finishing off Ellie's cup of scotch. Like he just downs it. Make good choices, Ryan. Make good choices. Make good choices. Make good choices. <laughs> All right, we got time for one more little scene. Ellie, do you want to do something, or should we see, should we leave, or should we do Ryan, or we should leave it for next game? What do you guys think? I mean, who's who's taking Ellie back to her room? Are you calling one of the guards? Uh, well, I'm going to get Ellie back to her room, but I am going back to our son's room after that. Oh. Oh my god. I, I, I can do a dumb, I'm allowed to. Yeah, the walk back is just gonna be like, oh, oh man. Let me go with Weiss, 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 the handsome one with the brown hair. Where, where, where is he? We need to catch. Oh, you need to get. And I will uh, escort you back to your bed. Directly you get some, back to your bed. You get some help. You manage to drop Ellie on the bed. She lands like on her side, like, <sighs> like one leg and one arm off the side of the bed. And I'm gonna give her a kiss on her cheek, and I'm gonna pet her hair. Uh, as you I'm kiss, pull the covers right up over her. You can taste a little bit of raspberry jam on her cheek. Oh, you sweet pea! <laughs> I'm gonna tuck, and I'm gonna tuck the blankets all around her. <laughs> I'll give her a kiss on her forehead, and say, "Sleep well." <laughs> Just I sleeping feel like, in full gown and corset. I feel so like, so yeah, cool. like, Ellie is super hungover, like, super drunk, passed out half on her bed in a full I'll round. Loosen your, I'll loosen your corset. And I feel like, I feel like as you, like, go to kiss her, like, you leave, like, she lets it, like, a loud fart or something. Like, I feel like Ellie is not graceful in this oh, moment. Sure. <laughs> as soon as you loosen that corset, it's just like... <laughs> There was her burps. Why wasn't she burping? <laughs> they were stuck. They were stuck inside. This is the secret of corsets. They they lock the burps and the farts inside for later. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna go back to our son's room. Yeah. Do you know you're gonna go back to our son's room? Like as you walk up the stairs, or do you like mean to go by? You know. What do you mean? Do you mean how like how much am I fooling myself? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like in her heart, no. She like she's like no. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my room. I'm gonna go to my room. like. She knows. Like she right. knows. Like you're gonna walk right past your room. You're just gonna keep on going. Okay. You get to her son's door. <laughs> Just knock lightly. Uh, you hear something from inside, okay. but you can't quite make out. This is bad. Um, I'm gonna, um, leave yeah um i don't um i don't know knock 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 again like yeah no. <laughs> oh all right i know what's happening i you know knock. exactly what's happening i know exactly what's happening <laughs> which is why i'm trying which is why i'm trying to avoid it but what's what's happening ryan ryan is not laura ryan, what What's happening? Laura, knows. Laura, what's happening? Ryan doesn't know. 
Laura knows. What's happening? Oh, he's in there fucking somebody else. <laughs> yeah? Oh, Ryan! <laughs> Ryan! Ugh. You think he's fucking someone else? But Ryan... We're about to. Yeah, absolutely. 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 That's 100% he... my bet. Am I wrong? You're wrong, actually. Uh, after the second knock, he answers the door, and he looks disheveled, more so than he did when you left. Like, he's kind of, like, grabbed his hair, and, like, it's got these, like, those, those peaks, you know? Like, I can't, I can't do it, because I don't have guy hair. But, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. And he looks at you and doesn't say anything. I didn't want to go back quite yet. Are you okay? He reaches out and takes you by like the upper arm and pulls you into the room. Door slam? Yeah. Should we leave it there to see what happens and how far you guys go? I can't believe it wasn't fucking somebody else. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I would tease. I expected the worst there. I would tease. I expected the worst. Well, I thought the you were gonna. Worst. I thought you were gonna oh. figure it out. Was um, he was definitely like uh, like masturbating. No. Yeah. He was laying on that couch with like like scotch out, pants undone, head leaned back. I fucking hate this. Ugh. No, he shut, was shut the door. Shut the door. He was thinking. He was having some good thoughts. Okay, at least it was an actual other. Fully thought it was another person. Fully thought. That's You're right, he is you. horny though. You are correct. You were only gone like five minutes. <laughs> no, what? Did you longer than that walking and leave after bed? So, yeah, little let's, princess. Let's, little. let's leave it at that. And uh, if anyone is interested in reading more sexy things that happen with Ryan and our son. We will probably have some stories for you. Let us know where you would like to read them, if so. Like, yeah, where do we put them? On the internet. Like, do we email them out? What, like a newsletter? <laughs> like, like the sexy Arsene newsletter? Hey, and by the way, now here's <laughs> your monthly Justin Jagger's newsletter. <laughs> it's all erotica. It's all erotica. No, I'm sorry. There was no sex in the last one that we did. That was totally suitable for work. But that's because the campaign is early. So honestly, once it gets into it, that's all. But we'll see. Is. Like, Ryan, Ryan's, uh, Ryan's never been with someone before, correct? No. So we'll see how far they go. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't go the whole way. Maybe they just, you know... Have a good My time. Head, but she's but she's not it's not like it's it's not because she's precious about it. It just hasn't happened yet. And just she's because so dreamy. Of, for people who are watching no one knows. No one knows why it just hasn't happened. But there's a reason why it just hasn't happened yet. She just hasn't had the opportunity. It's not that she didn't want to. <laughs> it's not that she hasn't tried. It just hasn't happened for her yet. She's <laughs> not trying to like save it or anything like that. <laughs> It just hasn't happened. But maybe it did. Certainly to some degree, something definitely happened. She's not a backdoor virgin anymore. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> well, that's a fucking lady, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, come on, you belong to his brother, come on. 
He's. I mean, the second born is. So you got the firstborn brother, and then you got the second born slash backdoor brother. No. <laughs> Feel it. Yeah, all right then. Is that an option? Is that an option? It's always an option. It's always an option. Is the princely DP an option? Sorry about room for that one. Are our, our, our Atlas and our son interested in running a train on you? Oh. <laughs> For the love of God, are we still online? Yeah. I gotta go. I gotta put Michael, my phone Michael, Michael's gonna be horrified. Sorry, Just, Michael. I'm, I'm hoping that Michael doesn't make it to the end of it. Michael, don't Sorry, Michael. Ever again. <laughs> Sorry. All right. This is what happens if you leave us? This is, this is just further proof that you can't leave us alone together. We'll get drunk and people will fuck and, and in various holes. <laughs> <laughs> It's aggressive. It's too. It's a bit. Of, it's too aggressive. Why not? I, <laughs> I mean, not me personally, but yeah. I mean, come on. No, I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm just, no. Hey, everyone's consenting. I mean, idea. well, you guys are pretty drunk, right? Hmm. Well, I'm just saying that she, if she has to fuck Atlas anyway, she might as well <laughs> also fuck Arson at the same time, right? Right. I mean, if you need to have a baby with a prince, no. Hedge your bets. Get double that's princes loophole. in there. That's my double princes in there. That's, so my loophole was that the empress is like, "Have you slept with my son?" And I was like, "Well, you have two of them." So... <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I will. So she asked the next time. I'm like, "Hey, listen, Arson. I have the thing, right? Your brother loves this other." Your brother loves his other guy. Okay, right. So it's, it's fine. Like, that's great. Except that it might get me killed. So, right. Other than that being a problem, it's cool. But, <laughs> see, here's the thing. I have to fuck one of the Empress's sons. List. She only owns two. And she guess what? One. It's Can you. We do Can we do a deal? Not that he's already <laughs> into you. Can we do a deal? <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you all for joining us for that delightful train wreck that is Darkness and Dragons. If you want to join our community, you can follow us on Twitch, on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for and joining if you us. Don't. It's hurtful. It's hurtful. It's hurtful. Thank you for joining us, and we'll it's see hurtful. you. It's hurtful. We'll see you next week.